Hi everybody, Zach again, NewTutor.com. Coming in, making a video for you today. So I'm out driving around doing some here and there stuff. Have to get things and um, just kind of things playing over in my head. You know, you know how it works. You drive around, things play over in your head. Anyway, so I was at a place recently and I was meeting with some people who are not Torah observant who don't know their Bible, even though they think they do. And one of them showed up attempting to mock me. <laughs> Had to have been planned. I mean, come on. They know how I feel about things. They know how I believe in the Bible. And they know how I interpret Scripture. And he was wearing a shirt that said, I love bacon. I love bacon. You know, it's like, and this has happened from time to time, because people, they know Zach Bauer, you know, they know where I stand on things, and um, the, most of the time, you know, despite what some of you may believe, I don't, if someone shows up like that, I don't engage them, I don't challenge them, you know, that's between them and their God, because truly they've made a God in their own mind, because they're not reading the Word of God. Because the Word of God is consistent when you read it. They have been... They have been indoctrinated by man-made traditions and interpretations of that Word. And so, when someone shows up with a t-shirt that says, I love bacon. <laughs> they think they're mocking me, but they're not. They're mocking the Creator of heaven and earth. That's who they're mocking. Because here is someone who they know believes that it's wrong to eat bacon. But they don't believe that to be true. And so, not only do they have a difference of opinion, but they're throwing that difference of opinion in my face. And I'm not one to get in an argument with them. I'm not going to challenge them. I mean, that's not the time and place. No. If you want to sit down with me and say, Zach, you know, let's go over this and let's talk about it. Okay, great. We can do that. And I'll tell you, and I'll explain my position. I already have a great video, by the way. It's called, I'm not giving up my bacon. I'm not giving up my bacon. That's the name of the book. If you want to, if you want to find a video that goes through every single verse in the New Testament and why you're interpreting those verses incorrectly about pork and other foods, you can go find that video, I'm not giving up my bacon. And you can see exactly where I interpret those verses in the New Testament and why other people interpret those verses incorrectly. I'm not giving up my bacon. Go look it up. It's a great video, if I do say so myself. But I'm not going to engage someone who's trying to mock me openly and publicly. You know, because really, you're not mocking me. You're mocking him. And he's the one you're going to have to answer to. He will be the one you have to answer to on that day not me. And just for the record, I love bacon. I love bacon. There's turkey bacon. There's beef bacon. I love bacon. Pork bacon? God says not to eat it. And I'm going to do what my Father in Heaven tells me to do. All right, we'll leave it at that. Go home, read your Bible. Thanks. Bye.